Hey, what's up guys, Tackle Hogs here, and we are here to talk about my Surefire X300 Ultra-A. So we did a review on this light quite a while back, and I love it. It goes on my 229 Enhanced Elite and my 226 Tack Ops. Uh, typically when I'm carrying outside the waistband with my Pitbull Tactical Bloodline Nocturnal, Sometimes I'll run that rig inside the waistband, but it is a little bit bulky and generally I have a uh, second handheld light on me so I don't really need to carry a weapon light inside the waistband for concealed carry. But what I want to check in with is the tail caps. I broke my flashlight. Uh, one of the tail caps fell off of the original back piece here. And this is really just kind of a quick shout out video to Surefire and their outstanding customer service. So. One of the buttons fell off the tail cap. It did not render the light useless. I still had the button on the other side that would actuate the light both pressure, you know, momentary, as well as constant on. It was just a little bit harder to function. Uh, some of the features, you know, particularly switching off, sometimes I'll use my left hand thumb for that. And without that tail cap on the back there, it was just a, a sharp piece of metal sticking out that I could, still, I could still do it, but I didn't get nearly as good of a purchase on there and it made it a little bit less efficient. And there's no reason that functioning your flashlight should hurt or cut your thumb up. So I gave Surefire a call on that. I spent about 40 minutes on hold. Uh, they're really busy people and this was immediately after SHOT Show when I finally got around to calling them and they knew who I was right when I called just for my phone number popping up and they were more than happy to send me out a brand new tail cap at no charge. All I was really expecting was this plastic button that I could slide on there. I'm not sure if that's really how this works or not but the salesperson that I talked with was more than helpful and it was maybe a, a three minute phone call at that point and they did a great job shipping stuff out. It got to me in a timely manner and all I had to do was remove the rear tail cap assembly entirely and just swap out that new one there. So like I said, I love this flashlight. It's got all the lumens that I need. I like the low profile look of it. I like the, the performance, the features of it. And I'm really happy to say that my experience with Surefire's customer service is second to none. So in my opinion, that's just one more reason to buy their flashlights. Anybody out there that's questioning Surefire's customer service or the performance of their products, yes, it does break. Everything will break with enough punishment. I really don't know what caused this thing to break on me. I just noticed that the button was gone one day. But if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm not that polite to my stuff. So this light's been subject to a lot of abuse and God only knows what actually caused it to snap and fall off the light. There's another claim to fame for Surefire. Thank you guys for watching. If you've had a similar experience with Surefire or you run something different, you know, a different weapon light or hand light um, and have, you know, a, a positive story about customer service with a different company, go ahead and comment that down below. And I'm, I'm always happy to hear uh, companies doing good jobs and in, in standing behind their product, especially when you're paying a couple of 300 bucks for a weapon light or a flashlight, you know, uh, customer service goes a long ways. So hats off to Surefire. We'll see you guys next time and we never quit. I have the light mounted up on my clear SIG 226 TAC op.